Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check the controller is still not working. The next step is to enable the controller in game menu. So you can first of all launch the game. Now once you launch the game, go to options and then go to this gear icon settings icon. Here you can see input controls, game pads, if this is off, you can turn it on and then at the bottom right hit apply and the game will relaunch, uh, reload and now you can check if the controller is working or not. If not working, you can close the game and then launch the game once again and then check. Now do the same thing. You have to enable the controller in game settings.xml file. Now for this you can open file explorer and then go to documents folder, open my games open farming simulator 2025 and over here you will find game settings.xml file make a right click open with notepad now over here find the option that says is game pad here you can see uh, right now here you can see is game pad enabled and make sure this is set to true so if this is false like if this is false set to false you can just type in true over here type in true and then go to file and then click on save and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete all the files which starts with input from profile template folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files here you can see profile template folder open this folder now first of all create a backup of this uh, profile template folder you can just make a right click copy it and then you can create a backup so once you have a backup over here now you can go to file explorer and now open profile template and here you can see input all delete all the files that starts with input now once you select everything now make a right click and delete it and then now you have to relaunch the game and then check now if you face any problem you can always open profile template and you can copy all these files and you know you can put the files back now the next step is to steam users disable or enable steam input now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the controller tab and over here use default settings would be selected first of all try disable steam input and then you can launch the game and then check if that is not working go to properties once again controller and this time you can enable steam input and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can use default settings and then check now the next step is to now this is for non steam users add the game to the game add the game to steam and then you can launch the game so you can go to add a game option and then click on add a non steam game and then if you see the game in the list you can select the game if you don't see the game in the list you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so for example if you have the game on epic epic games launcher you can open epic games and you will find the game over here open the game folder and add the exe file uh, you can see the exe file um, farming simulator 2025 and you will also see x64 folder you have to open that x64 folder you will find that exe file the game exe file you have to select the game exe file open once the game is added over here this is just an example i don't have the game on any other uh, platform so once you find the game this is just an example put a check on the box and then click on add selected program once the game is added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now you can on the top right here you can see the big picture mode icon enter big picture mode icon you can click on big picture mode now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which are not using so if you have any external devices which are not using disconnect it any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vizo etc you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game and then check 
Next step is to unplug and replug the controller. Simply unplug it, replug it, and then check. If that does not work, remove the controller from the Windows settings so you can open Windows settings. Go to Bluetooth and devices. If you see your controller over here, click on remove device. Once this is removed, now you can add a device. You have to close the game first. Make sure game is closed. And then you can go to Bluetooth and then you can pair your controller. You can add your controller once again. Once the controller is added, uh, once you pair it, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Now the next step is to close the game, update the controller using PlayStation Accessories app or Xbox Accessories app. Now if you have the game uh, Xbox controller, you can type in Xbox Accessories app in Windows search box, go to Xbox Accessories app and then you can click on open and now you have to connect to your controller using the USB cable. Uh, make sure that you connect the controller using the USB cable. Uh, let me connect it now. Now once you connect it, you can click on configure and uh, not configure. You have to click on this three dots and then you will see an option update now option. So click on update now and then click on continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you're if you have like Xbox app in that case, you can install this PlayStation accessories app. Uh, you can search in Google and you can go to PlayStation website and you can download it, install it. I have already installed it. So once you have PlayStation accessories app installed, you can open it. then you can connect your controller over here. And if your controller is not up to date, uh, you will see update option over here. You can update your controller and then you can check. Now, the next step is for PlayStation controller user. You can use DS4 Windows or REWSD app. You can Google it and you can configure your controller and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your uh, controller using the USB cable, using the cable to the computer, and then you can launch the game and then check the controller. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.